So, okay, I am in the Harbinger EV step van. This is the pure battery electric. Harbinger just revealed the hybrid version at the ACT Expo here in Anaheim, California, but they only have the battery electric for test driving purposes, which is what I am doing right now. the torque in this thing, it's, it's what, 13,700 pound feet of instant torque. Yeah. It's, we're obviously not able to take it out onto the highway where we can really let loose, oh, that's which it. is what I'm sure. Impressively fast. Yep. Just like any battery electric, you're gonna be going fast very, very quickly. Exactly. So this current configuration is a four pack configuration. That'll give you about 140 miles of range. However, you can configure the vehicle up to six packs. Okay. And what will the six pack configuration give you? At six pack, you're looking at about 210 miles. 210 miles. Very impressive. And once again, because this is battery electric, it is completely silent. The interior, it's obviously it's, it's a step van. It's fairly Spartan, but I really like having this large uh, uh, screen here. I can see what's going on behind me very clearly, very easily. It also has a little stereo here where you can control. And I also like the fact that the HVAC controls are the conventional knobs instead of being integrated within the touchscreen itself. Yeah, you know, I'm like Tesla's and all the newer EVs and stuff that have everything functioning from the radio screen itself. If the radio screen, you know, gives out or goes black or right. has a glitch. Then you're dealing with 100 degree weather and this box van is going to be pretty. <laughs> it's going to be really high. <laughs> Opening the doors is not going to save you. Yeah, exactly. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. All right, we're just making a turn here. Let's try this turning radius. This is one of the things I have been asked about with these newer vehicles. And yeah, this turns and it drives essentially very much like any passenger vehicle. Yeah. It's, it's uh, really nice here. The steering is definitely not heavy at all. No, it's very loose steering. Oh, we're going to be able to. Yeah, I would try and get it as tight as you can. That way yeah. you could swing that. Let's try this. Let's see if I can avoid hitting any of these cones here. Wow. And what's you know what's really nice is that I could have turned that even further. Oh, yeah. Easily. The steering wheel kept kind of kept going. Let's try to swing out here, try to get a slightly wider turn. Again, handled it like a champ. Yeah, the company prides itself on that turning radius and the steering system itself. Yeah. I also like the flat bottom steering wheel here. Yeah, me too. It's a nice design feature. So it gives it a little more of a modern feel as well. Agreed, yes. <laughs> I also like the all digital driver's gauge cluster here. Yeah. Instead of conventional uh, analog speedometers. Coming to a complete stop for a sec. Put on my turn signal and off we go. It has that cool sound too when you hit the throttle. It's that futuristic sound that you hear in every battery electric EV. <laughs> yep, exactly. So that was just a very brief drive, uh, driving the uh, Harbinger EV step van. I hope to get behind the wheel of the hybrid version in the very near future, because I have a feeling that is going to be very, very popular. All right, well, this was fun. Thank you very much. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comments below.